Hello watcher and subscriber today we are going to discuss about the yield method in java so most of the beginner they are having doubt about the yield method so here it is a static method of thread class static method means you can directly use the yield method without the object and it can stop the currently execution of thread and will give chance to other waiting thread it means that you observe this diagram suppose here particular thread is running and if you write the code like if i equal to 1 then yield method then what happen if the condition is satisfied and yield method will run it will immediately give chance to other waiting thread then other waiting thread will start execution and they will come one by one in running stage okay so in this way it will happen so what it is written here currently executing thread means it can stop the currently executing thread and will give chance to other waiting thread of the same priority so their priority is also important suppose currently running thread is having max priority and other having low priority then in that case this thread will only run even though you use yield method in program so it depend on priority also if this one is having normal priority and other also normal then it will give chance to normal priority thread if in case there are no waiting thread or if all the waiting thread have low priority then the same thread will continue execution so as i already told yield method means if this thread is having max and other having low then it will not give chance to low priority thread but if they have normal priority and this one is also normal then in that case other thread will get chance for the particular time and then again it will go control to the uh, yield method thread from where you use the yield method so here now we will go practically so that whatever the doubts you are having that will be removed from your mind so now i am going into the eclipse so here i am in eclipse and uh, here first we should create the thread class a1 extends thread then once you create the thread here you have to use public void run method and in that run method you can specify the specific code so our code is as usual same int i equals to 1 less than equal to 10 and i plus plus this is our code for the execution and uh, here in the for loop i am using one output statement so here uh, one more output statement i am using and here i am just writing thread name that is a1 so this is our code and one more time i will repeat this code for the next thread so in place of a1 you should take other name b1 here also b1 and loop i am using other So we have created two threads okay and uh, now we will use yield method so here this loop will start from 1 and it will reach up to 10 but in between we put condition if suppose i exactly equals to 3 then in that case we will simply use yield method So in this program what happen if i is not 3 it is 1 2 then it will continuously execute but once it is 3 then it will give chance to other thread once the value is 3 means if it is 3 it will give chance to b1 so in this way it will run so now here in the main method you have to create the objects
after the object you have to start with the start method for running thread so these are the start method and now we will check output of the program so here one error is coming we will just check out here the semicolon is missing somewhere so here i forgot to give semicolon so now we will run and uh, here our output is coming and you can observe thread b1 is starting first then a1 thread then j is 1 i is 1 here j is 2 i is 2 so simultaneously it is execute but once i is 2 then you know in our program we have yield method so it will give chance to the next thread that is j is 3 j is 4 j is 5 j is 6 j is 7 j is 8 j is 9 j is 10 okay it will give chance to other thread and then again it will come back to i so we just go in the program also you just observe here we use yield method once i is 3 so it is giving chance to other but important thing is that if you put the condition at that point it will give chance to the next thread or next waiting threads so in this way the yield method will work and in case if you don't use yield method in the program then what will happen that also you should know so now i am removing the yield method and uh, let check output so here i maximize now you check here i is 1 i is 2 and uh, here at that point it is simultaneously execute but there is no guarantee okay so we run into the next attempt here i is 1 i is 2 here i is 3 so what happened friend if you don't use yield method then there is no guarantee it will execute simultaneously sometime a sometime b1 thread sometime a1 same time b1 but if you use the condition like yield method in the program then in such a case it is necessary once this condition encounter true then it will give chance to the next thread so i hope friend you understood the importance of yield method and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you